Don, what's the biggest lesson that you think uh, you've learned and this team has learned about itself in year one under Coach Wolver? Uh, finish games, go out there and play hard at every single play. Uh, you never know what play is going to uh, you know, cost you the game. Three or four plays here and there go a different way. We'd be sitting here getting ready to go to the playoffs or something. So just finish games, go out there and play every, every play. If you were to like rank your top five worst losses since you've been here, how many would be from this season? Uh, um, a lot, I mean, Saturday was uh, devastating, North Dakota State was uh, devastating, I mean, any loss is devastating, no matter if it's by zero, I mean, one point, 30 points, I mean, they all hurt, so. Uh, so with, with the new staff, and you know, obviously you were here when Coach Aycock was here, but what's the grade for maybe the staff and the team? What, what do you give the team grade this year with one game to play? I mean, uh, I mean, we played pretty average this year, you know. Offensively, we did some good things and bad things at the time. Defense did some good things and bad things at the time. I mean, it was just uh, average. I mean, it was an average year. I mean, we better than three and seven. Everybody knows that. Like I said, a couple plays uh, go different. You know, we sitting here seven and two, seven and three. Everybody getting ready to go to playoffs or something. So, I mean, I mean, we play average. I mean, I think the future is bright though for this team. That would be a C then. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Why is a C plus? Kurt gave himself a B minus. Is that too harsh? Nah, Kurt. Kurt did a real good job this year. He, I'm not gonna like surprise me. You know, just the way he improved since the first game to this game since the springtime. Uh, like I said, the future is bright. You know, with Kurt. You know, you got Jermaine Cook. You got a lot of guys on the defense. So, I mean, I think in the next few years, the next time they gonna make some noise. So what's it going to mean for you to walk up that tunnel the last time here Saturday afternoon? Uh, I might get a little emotional. You know, I play a lot of games in this stadium. I remember my freshman year, uh, my first touchdown ever here. I remember my first uh, pass I caught here. I mean, it's going to be emotional. I play a lot of games in you know, YSU under the old staff, under the new staff. It's, just, it's going to be emotional. Do you kind of let it all hang out this week just because, I mean, really playing for pride? Uh, you want to get that last win. I mean, yeah, you know, you want to go out there, you know, all our seniors, you know, we've been through a lot with this new coaching staff and a, a, a new change our, our last year. So we want to go out there with a win and go on top. And, you know, you win this game this year. Next year, the uh, team can start off fresh and see what happens. Like I asked Kurt, what's been the bigger surprise, maybe your record or, or Indiana State, really? Uh, probably our record. I mean, like I said, I mean, we way better than three and seven. Uh, I mean, Indiana State, uh, they, they improved, though. I mean, the hats off to them. They like coach staff did what they had to do to get them uh, guys improved. I think in the next few years they're going to be a team contending for a championship too. Obviously, you know, you're up there on the record books and a couple of things. Have you allowed yourself to look at that? I mean, I'm not going to sit and lie and say I don't pay attention to it because, I mean, I do. I mean, but uh, I'd rather I turn all the records in just to get this last win for, for myself and all the other seniors and just for the team.